Hello! Oh my gosh! It's so nice to meet you. I can't so believe we've never met before. It's a, it's illegal. It's outrageous. We're breaking. I, I agree. I feel like I feel like when you are playing Evan Hansen, which we both do, I am Broadway, and you, of course, in the West End. I feel like there's like some kind of like text chain that should be created that all there's of a sudden a, there's everyone gotta be a just. Chat. There's gotta I feel be. like I feel like there was at one point, and then I think people were like, "This is." This can't do. We we must get rid of it. There's too many now. We've um, reached we'll bring it back. We will bring it back. Um, so this is such a cool opportunity. We have been brought together by What's on Stage in London and Theater Mania mm -hmm. in New York to kind of talk about what it means and what it feels like to play the role of Evan Hansen in our respective counterparts in so the world. Interesting to talk about this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So and I when as soon as this was brought to me, I was like, this is. I have so many questions. Uh, that I, you know, like you know, like don't think about the questions, and all of a sudden yeah. you're like, oh my god, I have a million questions. That yeah, I yeah, yeah. Ask and you. then that made me like question my Evan, and I was like, oh my god, do I even know? And now I'm like, oh wow. wow. <gasps> Stop. No, you're incredible. Didn't you win like some small, like tiny award? Like oh, it's just like it's really it. small. It's like I don't know. It's like uh, it's not important at all. Congratulations oh on that, by the way. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna dive right in, um, and I will also. I just want to say that I love how this is like, like the Zoom that we're on, like how it's listed. It's like West End versus Broadway. I, I feel like we. There's a winner. I thought that like a, yeah, like a, well, I think really what it means is that we're just gonna have to like sing waving through a window like to the death. Like we'll just like keep but going. Like, as soon as we finish it, like next key up, next key up. Next key up. Right, that yeah. I would be done. I would be done after just like one. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a question and um, we'll go from there. So I was a part of the original Toronto production and I was so fascinated as an American being up there that they actually changed some of the script um, to kind of like be more reflective of the audience that it was playing to. So have there been any changes to the Dear Van Hansen script for the London production? Uh, yes, there have been. There were, there were a few. Um changes uh i think uh, to remember them now is impossible but like <laughs> you know we didn't have like trader joe's dumplings like there's a there's a there's a line that um that heidi hansen says yep. at the beginning of the show uh i think it's just after waving i think um yep and we just we just we just scrapped it. we didn't even replace it with anything because it was like i think like we don't really need to know what they are um so yeah we've done there were a few actually and there was a few lines that zoe says lucy anderson who plays zoe we we were just like this is not gonna land um like we we barely got away with um uh pottery barn whatever that is Pot like oh my god i just caught i just caught a glimpse of to the american dialect incredible pottery barn wow can't say it in a british accent it sounds outrageous but um but yeah, so like we, we kept a few things, but yeah, yeah. So there were things were very were changed quite 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 dramatically, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm very sorry that you have never tried a Trader Joe's dumpling. They are in fact incredible. I know, honestly. I but can't I think imagine. that that makes sense. <laughs> um. So that's a really good question. I really, I, mine aren't as profound as that. I think my first one would be for you. Is what do you recognize Evan as a character? his biggest fear would be not necessarily talking about the shows the the, the, the you know the, the the fear that the show brings but just like in general yeah. not not like a phobia but like you know I don't know, I don't know. no i mean i think it's a great question i feel like his biggest fear is being on the outside always looking in you know, not being able to connect with everyone. And I don't know about you, but I had a very, I mean, middle school for me. Is there middle school in, 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 in London? No, it's different, yeah, we right? Yeah, like kind a of... secondary, secondary school yes. kind of, you know, yeah, 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 GCSE vibe. People will know. Like... You learn something new every single day with the show. Um, but I can totally relate to that. And I feel like that feels really right. You know, everyone is so familiar with waving through a window. It's like the like power anthem of like the century, by, you know, Pascal Paul. Um, but in it, it really shows that Evan, what he wants the most is to connect with people and to finally have someone wave back at him. And I think by proxy, like the, his biggest fear is that he won't have someone kind of to connect with, to, 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 to kind of be with, you know?
Okay, so next question for you. Uh, this, I'm curious because I feel like when I first joined the fold of Evan, I was like, what? This role is insane. And like, how do people do this? How do people do it once a week, twice a week, six times? How do people do it? It's so incredible. It's so insane. It's such a, like a mammoth of a role. What are the things that you do off stage in those, you know, whether it's the three minutes of Requiem or it's the 20 seconds we have before the orchard quick change? It, it's so interesting. I think for me, I think there was this one time a couple of weeks ago, I was doing the show and I was like, you know what? I really don't need to pee right now. I'm good. I'm all good. Um, and then I did words fail needing to pee and it was possibly the worst experience I've ever done and I nearly embarrassed myself in front of an entire audience. What? This literally or, like, oh my god. Or or the stakes were really just so high that the audience was like, wow, Sam is really going through it tonight. He is just yeah, like really all. going that extra mile. Yeah. He really yeah. is. It looks like he's gonna burst. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so for me, because literally the, the, the only reason I'm alive is because of just so much water, as you know. So I think, you know, um, well, during the, the show, it, yeah, exactly. In Requiem, I, you know, I, I pop a mint just because to give myself, my throat, some sort of stimulus other than just swallowing like all of the trash in there. Uh, and I'll go for a wee and then I'll just kind of just chill and I'll make fun of Rupert Young who plays Larry singing the high notes um, and I'll tease him a bit. And then I'll just go, I'll do a few tongue stretches just to kind of like, you know, try and reset as much as I can before the rest of the chaos begins but the, the the rest of it in act two is just literally just a quick change water how try and fit a wee in if you can if you can't you know what well, good luck that's <laughs> you know i feel like i've had a very similar experience of being like yeah peeing like it's fine i can just wait afterwards and i i'm ever i, I guzzle similar to you just like fluids i wake up in the morning and i drink like what feels like a liter of water and then i do that before bed and throughout the show because it's so important um mm -hmm. so i have definitely been in that position too where i'm like oh wow it is the first act and it's for forever and i have th like two more scenes and songs before Stop. i can pee and Stop. um should we just like speed it up we're just gonna be like yeah. blah, 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 like just, just like, like, even faster five, that's, 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 yeah no, <laughs> You know, I recently, I recently discovered that waving through a window when it was first written, it was actually like up a couple steps. Like it actually was higher. And I was like, "Ha, huh, interesting. I'm gonna go. I gotta. I'm gonna just like take the. I'm gonna run." No, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Crazy. Oh my goodness. Um, I've got a. Uh, speaking of songs and, and what have you, in in the entire score of the show. What would you reckon your favorite melody or favorite line or favorite rhythm or or anything like that is? For example, mine is, and it's so silly, it's, it's actually not, it's He left it in the bag, but the tag's still on. I just really like how that's like, it's, I really like that. And it's not difficult, it's not overcome, it's just simple line, but with a lot of weight, it's just, yeah, anyway. Pulling it out of to break in a glove. That is not what I was expecting. Thank you, not what I was expecting. Dog. Love that song, but not what I was expecting. Um, that's a great question. <clears throat> I feel like it changes, you know, my, my favorite song, whatever that means for the show that is like so, you know, timeless in so many of the songs that it has. I think performing, I think my favorite song to do is For Forever, just because I feel like that's where we get to really kind of see who Evan actually is um, and see his heart. And his vulnerability and i think that the melody is just um so gorgeous um but rhythm wise because there are so many funky rhythms i don't know every <clears throat> every single time i'm on stage for good for you and i watch jared go like and you say what you need to say that stuff i always am like i like i and resist the urge to kind of like you know to just like uh, to like jam out i'm like all oh, right i'm i'm really upset yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm really i'm really angsty and, and scared right now but i'm like yeah go on go on come on, on. You got it. on. Well, yeah yeah i'm like yeah come hold on like go on come on alana let's go yeah no that's i'm fired um but i i find that song to be really invigorating even though for our character it's it's technically at the detriment of of us yeah. but um i find that song to be super just like enlivening especially at that part yeah. of the show yeah. and in that in that act
All right. Whoa. So I've got a question for you that Please. is a little bit more serious. Um, so, you know, our shows have had incredible runs on Broadway and on the West End. I'm so proud of our productions for everything that they've done, the partnerships that they've made. Um, it's really just such a singular show. And I'm sure like you, like for me, I feel so honored to just be a part of its history. Oh, um, so what do you hope people take away from the legacy of Dear Evan Hansen once it closes um, in our respective um, multiverses? <laughs> the multiverse of Evan Hansen. Um, I think, you know, obviously you'll be found is such in the context of the show it's quite haunting it's quite you know mm. it's there's such a darker undertone to it but 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 the the over what the over the message is just so true and just so i think it's so simple and it just all it takes is is just something so brilliantly written like evan hans dear evan hansen just have such a very simple and very genuine and truthful message that, you know no one deserves to be forgotten or or you will be found or you know yeah you know all, the, all these things and i think you know when i when you know when stage door was a was a bigger thing i think i, I had so many people that would come up to me and they would just and they would say oh, here's a tattoo of a line because that line is saved my life people would come up to me and they you know it would be like a you know really grizzled you know you're all as a guy you know this dad who's like you know clearly not into musical theatre or, or yep. into acting or anything like that yeah and he's and he says to me you know he, that he really resonates with Larry Murphy or he really you know saw his partner in so and so other and it just really you know to see such truthful real non perfect if that's you know like they 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 are they are flawed and that's why they are so powerful is because they're human and i think you know the legacy that you know the 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 the, the people who watch the show can identify with these eight eight six yep. seven eight characters <laughs> on stage i think that's it's, it's so powerful it's so powerful yeah and it's like i'm part of a production where we 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 pulled people in you know, you know that's the most humbling and and life altering perspective changing thing ever and i think the legacy that it takes is that you know you will be found and and i think it's just so so beautifully simple and just so but so powerful as well it carries so much weight yeah did i say words i just i do yeah you did yeah. i think that that i mean for me that's exactly how I, that's exactly how i feel too i think that it is you know that sense of hope that people leave oh, with yeah. the show and then and, and it obviously leaves a handprint um in, in their heart and their brain kind of the story um and the message that it leaves mm. um and i think it's the ability for this show to to kind of start these conversations about mental health and those things that are so exactly. hard exactly is like that. is um why you know there's so many reasons why the show is incredible but that specifically mm. i think kind of a legacy you know is is so profound and important and will be something that is remembered for forever ah My um my this is such a I did it in a in a weird order. Uh, this is my this is my least profound. Oh God! I love it. That's great because it, it contrasts the one that I I asked you like a really hard question. So this right. is perfect. This is exactly uh, what we want. What do you reckon? Oh my God! What do you reckon Evan's favorite film is? His favorite film? Yeah. Oh my because... God! That is. Because I, you know, it's for, for me things like that just like really fill in. Not that there are many gaps to his personality that are written on that has been that's been written. We've got we've got so much, you know, stuff to work with. But I, I love stuff that, like that. I'm like, you know what I mean? That that is an incredible question. Let's see here. I <clears throat> I feel like <clears throat> he might be like a film buff. He might be like he might be because he's like generally alone a lot of the time and likes that yeah, i feel like he's exactly. a fan i feel like he's a fan of the classics like i feel yeah. like 
He's 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 definitely got that going for him. He might be like a Star Wars person, maybe by virtue of his friendship with Jared that he's like Jared likes this, so I also like this. But that's a great question. I feel like I don't know. What would you say? What do you think? Well, the thing I'm, I was going for that kind of sci-fi, yeah, like, you know, like Back to the Future, things like you know, like old and you know the classics, but yeah. like that are still so current and you know I think I think stuff like that like really sci-fi Star Wars stuff Trek stuff like that like well really, great minds think alike but I I feel like it's definitely because he has a lot of those Friday Saturdays alone as we learn at the very top of Ramon's what is Heise say there you go like what is what is what is Heise say she's like she's like I don't want another night of you sitting at home on a computer every night yeah. telling me I'm a friend yeah. so I feel like he's got his like classic kind of lineup of shows that he's like he's okay to tonight it's me and this and like I want to say it's Harry Potter but like I don't know if that's it maybe he feels really akin to like Neville Longbottom or like Harry who knows oh, but well. like oh god <laughs> I'm gonna, show tonight. I'm gonna be thinking about that the whole time. But like, also me, that's just me because I'm also very much a Harry Potter freak, so that could just be me bleeding into that. I love um, Back but to that's the Future, a, so that's my favorite song as well, so yeah. That is a great movie. Marty McFly, dear lord. Um, that, that was a great question. I feel like no, no one's ever true. asked me that before. Yeah. <laughs> Another stellar conversation for the scrapbook. Goodness me, this has been fantastic. I can't believe we haven't met in person. This is a, I know. This is a crime. This is a crime. I'm I sure. I'm sure, I'm sure our paths will cross again. Maybe I'll be in London. Maybe you'll Done. probably be here at some point. We will get together. We will ask we will. More, questions. more questions. We will Favorite send it to what's on stage <laughs> and Theater Mania, and Theater Mania. they will not. They'll be like, we. It's enough. But we will still do it, and we will talk about we'll it because I'm actually we'll have a genuinely. Pile. We'll have a whole exactly. Glossary. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god it's been amazing thank you so much um please everyone who's watching um while we're open uh book your tickets it's such a beautiful show um zachary i know I, you are just from this i just know that you're such a wonderful brilliant truthful actor and i know you give your all every night um and i just would love to have the pleasure of seeing you uh, my goodness me um, right back at you thank you so much uh this has been Zachary Noah Pizer and Sam Tati. Um, <laughs> Two friends. Two friends.